Hey guys, it is the One Hour Gamer again, and this is my take on uh, Morkum FC. Sorry about the first video, I didn't have commentary on that one, but I figured it out, got it working for this one, so we'll uh, take it into the European International Cup. The squad still trying to get used to who they are, what they can do, what they can't do. A whole heck of it is what they can't do, but uh, it certainly is an interesting challenge. One thing I do like is I kind of like their away jerseys. Uh, I'm not a huge Morecambe fan. I didn't know they existed until this game and they had the one star on them and figured this would be a really unique challenge and let's see what happens with it. I've also noticed that uh, Fleming playing in the middle, he always seems to pop up on the score sheet so I'm gonna maybe try him out uh, sooner or later. will give the lone player a chance up front. Well, the player's getting fitter game by game. It's the third round of matches in this European International Cup, this pre-season tournament. Yeah, we're getting into the swing of things now. We've seen some pretty entertaining football so far. Hoping for more of the same here. Our match for you today is Morecambe against Nordjallen. And this referee today for the game is Lauritz Tillerson. When I typically play on professional, I tried it at, you know, legendary world typically class, semi-pro, and I kind of found this, this is game, the most competitive way for me at this point right now. And I typically slow it down dangerous. a bit, have some custom slidings and settings on it as well. And that will be a corner. The referee has given a corner here. Outside reception, please move it immediately. Thank you. See if we can get out of this corner here. Uh, nothing. Jennings, Rose, this is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening, he's got his tackle Yeah, the lack in. of skill moves the has been a, a bit of a challenge, usually I play with attack. Man U, and of course those boys uh, can do just about anything. Oh, here we go, oh yeah. Front. First goal is always a crucial goal and they've just got it. saw the gap down in the bottom corner boy did he find it well well that is the sign of a clinical finisher somebody that knows where the goals are they don't have to look up couldn't have said it better myself So the first goal, it's 1-0. Morgan goal, number 15, Aaron Wilding. Excellent passing, great interplay. Ooh. And shoots! Well, it's a long way off target. I didn't expect much from that. He seemed to like my poor shot. Bit of pressure on the player, that's why it's gone out. Well, no delay here. Well, it's good progress with this attack. Shots on here. Oh, Ooh. he's missed it. And that would have been the equaliser. Oh, what a chance. What a chance that was. And uh, I don't know whether he's going to get another in this match.
Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Attacking well here. Crisp defending there. Throw in now. There goes the cross. He's better usually at crossing <laughs> than that. It was a defender who got there first quite easily, actually. Here's a chance to attack. Uh, cut out by the defender. Well, that's half time at 1 0. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. Try to keep you in touch with the transfers as we hear about them. Ilkay Gundogan has definitely moved to Manchester City. Yeah, and I think both. Oh, and here's the header. And this is a goal! Well, Just left him wide the open there. Here, and they've got themselves a goal well out of the keeper's reach. Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll Bella. see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances. And it is a knack. is a great goal of its type Let's don't see as many as we used to of it but the cross made the header so possible yeah it is still one of the, the best sights in football and I think supporters enjoy it spectacular header it is uh, level both sides have scored here now. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Oh, Put them in front. Well, we're still level pegging here, but it's not. Well, so that's the thing with this uh, level. Not a whole lot of class when you're trying to finish. In this case, I wasn't trying to finish, I was trying to defend, but I did that poorly. <laughs> Substitution time. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Opportunity here! No, no, no! Well, the defenders could only watch and pray because they've been left for and dead. That's giving Fleming a shot. Just couldn't finish it. Like I said uh, before we got into the game, that he just somehow finds a way on the score sheet or he puts himself out there and uh, makes some pretty decent plays. A turnover in play. This with a chance to go into the lead now. Another opportunity wasted by this team. It's still level in the match. Substitution coming up. I think Stockton's got about a goal a game uh, in the early part of this International Cup. Let's we'll see if he can bring something here. Jennings. Oh, absolute poor giveaway. Cut out the pass. Could be dangerous. Found his teammate well. And shoots! Oh, paid for that giveaway. Nice goal, team. though. He's put them in front. Well, the best players step up at the vital moments, and he's done that there. And the goal looks spectacular and is very important. Yeah, there was some power behind that effort. I think the crossbar's still shaking. Well, let's take another look at the goal.
Well, a very exciting climax to an exciting game. This could be the decider. Well, it could be at this stage of the match. There doesn't seem much of an opportunity to come back. I think that could be decisive. Fleming. Still trying to get forward here. Still trying to get the goal that can help them. That's oh. a foul. It's going to be a free kick here. Yeah, I thought so. We'll see if we can pull something off here at the end of the game. Some last late game for Horrocks. And he's up oh. for the header. Headed it well. I asked Dr. Just wanted it. Wide. Well, not far wide at all. Next time, maybe he'll bury that. Makes a challenge here. And the cross comes in now. Chooses to punch here, the goalkeeper. Good technique. Attacking now. This could oh. be it. And here's the oh, shot. good save. Here's a and good another. Work by the goalkeeper, <laughs> but not decisive. So much for my all out attack. Shots on here. That move nipped in the bud by the raising of the flag from the assistant. It looked to me like the timing of the pass and the run was spot on, but in closer inspection, no, he was off. It's looking good, this move. Final whistle goes, the game is over, and the final score, 2-1. Well, I don't think that's going to be able to keep me in the, the International Cup after a and couple wins to start out. Rethink, I'm sure as soon as they get in the changing room after a defeat such as this. Yeah, maybe back to the drawing board for the manager, back to the training ground to work on their shape because they looked a bit disjointed out there. Well, I think he would. I always kind of like to check the player ratings at the end of it, just see who's performing and check out some of the facts to see if it's close to being uh, realistic. Yeah, so didn't get to stick it out in the cup, but at least got some money for it. We can check out some of the expectations here. There were some more in the episode one. The domestic success is not really that big. It's just financial. And it's keeping that player's salary growth at 20% that I'm going to probably find being very, very challenging, especially I have a limited roster and trying to fill in some youth squad players and trying to keep that salary in check. So if uh, anyone has some suggestions on that, feel free to leave something in the comments because I'm going to need as much help as I can get. Gauntlet, funny looking face, but uh, hopefully some training will help him out, maybe get him ready for a match sooner or later.
Ah, I skipped by a little bit too fast. Missed some, uh, maybe some important training. And I just picked up one scout just based on uh, my budgets and some of those financial goals. So I just got him going around England at the, this point in time. The formation where it is at the moment, uh, I might play with it as the season goes on, but uh, hey, feel free to leave me some suggestions on what kind of formations you've used with Morkum. I know there's uh, quite a few series that are out there uh, that I have been uh, watching, so yeah, let me just know in the comments what you've been using and what you've been doing and found success with, if you're able to find success. Hi everybody, welcome to today's game. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. Our match for you today is Walker versus Barnett. Will you please really have got a burst, there's certainly a burst in the stadium. As for this team, this home side, I don't know, I think it's going to be a struggle for them. They'll probably finish in the, the lower half of the table and it might be a little bit worse than that as well. They're going to lose more than they win. But they're coming up against a side that's uh, probably not going to trouble the silverware places, but um, for me, a mid-table team. I don't think they're going to go down. They've got too many good players for that, but uh, maybe one of those consolidating seasons. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. And for the away side, this is how they line up for this match. With an emphasis maybe on getting into the game, not getting out of the game before it's 20 minutes or so, they want to start solidly with those two holding midfield players. Yeah, don't lose the match before really you've worked your way into it i think that's probably the message in their dressing room and uh, it's reflected in that shape that we see Thank you. at last after all the build-up the game starts jennings and done Fleming. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Got to be. Oh, well, what a play. I actually impressed myself down. on that one. It hasn't come easily, but they're delighted with it. It was a well-crafted move and a fine finish at the end of it. And the way he's hit this one, he's flew off his boot to beat the keeper. There's Stockton again, another goal. 
That's what he gets paid to do, I guess. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Goal for the home team. 31 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. Just working away to try and find an opening. He's had a go here. And wow. it's an equalizing Just switched goal over to the guy who's supposed to be covering him. And of course was pulling away from the joystick while he was going towards the goal. And it happens. Well, great scenes of jubilation here, having got that equalizer. No sour grapes so here. To achieve it. Another Not with the shrimps. Great name, by the way, Markham. And I do mean that. <laughs> so away we go Barnett at one all. Number 11, Luke Gambin. Goal news from Blackpool. It's a goal for Blackpool. 34 minutes played. 1 1. Thanks, Alan. Togwell. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. It's decent. And here's the shot. Credit for taking on the shot. But well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's a glaring miss. Spotted that well and intercepted. Togwell. Now they've got a chance oh, wow. in this part of the Everything pitch. Going wrong. He's got his shot off now. Well, a damp moment on a damp day for him. It was an opportunity, but he couldn't keep his footing at all. It's not easy when the ball and the pitch is so wet. Your timing's got to be spot on. That's one thing I noticed just when I have kind of left the weather at random, both in my Man U series as well as the Morecambe one. It seems to rain every match. But I guess that's how it is over there. But don't get me wrong, I've been over to the UK once. And it just rained for about half the time, so not too bad, I've heard. Stopping the pass getting through with a good piece of anticipation. Here's Edwards. Fleming. And that's the half-time whistle from the referee. 1-1 at the break. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he stepped forward for his team there with that equaliser. But his team haven't been, what you would say, on the best of form. The rain has lashed down all through half-time. It is relentless. And I just wonder how much more the pitch can take. Well, Will digs there on a card, so I may pull him out. It. Trying to find a way for a through bit here. here. Probing away. Shots on here. It's another good effort. The team so really we can try and miss. take the lead. At the moment, it's still all square. Rushing it here, moving from one side to the other, onto the attack now. Brilliant football from this team. Oh, here we go. Yeah. And that is the goal that puts them in front. Stockton again. <laughs> Fantastic football, really, to lead to nice a goal like that. Nice service there. It's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. 
Well, it was just perfect from the delivery to the finish. Top marks. Not the best goalkeeping, though. <laughs> Off we go again, 2-1. We'll, we'll see if we Campbell can hold on to this until the end here. It's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. Broken hearts at the end of the European Moved International Cup. Nicely here with this passing game. Cut off. Oh, I wouldn't Goal. expect anything less. <laughs> Just give it away at the end. Well, they've got it back level, and there is still time to go for the win. I wonder whether they'll go for it or just settle for the draw. Well, what a win it would be, but a draw would be oh, a Oh, almost got his result. fingers on it. I've actually haven't played the few games that I have with Morecambe. He's a pretty competent tender. The game restarts at 2-2. First of all, this is the team, and we wait the substitution and what it might bring. Yeah, other managers might just settle for the draw, but not this one. It's great to see that positive attitude. Two very well matched teams reflected on the scoreline. The final whistle has gone. Well, another one where I just couldn't hold it on. Two, two. Well, possession wasn't everything today. But a point's a point, I guess, with Morecambe. The ball managed to get a draw from this. Yeah, the possession isn't always nine tenths of the law. They didn't take the chances and. Uh, they go away disappointed. Well, they'd have been in a bit of a mess, I think, but for him. Well, he played really well, got himself a couple of goals. He'll just be disappointed. He didn't earn his team the full three points. Pretty even across the board there. I uh, kind of commanded the possession. Everyone had a decent enough game. Stockton, obviously, the uh, highest achiever. Two goals in the day. English Football League 2. Blackpool, 2. Accrington Stanley, 2. Cheltenham Town, 0. Newport County, Do some more training here. Colchester United, and once again, I'm the one-hour gamer. Typically, what I do is I take games, crack them open, play them right out of the box, don't adjust settings, don't adjust really anything. Just kind of get you a feel of how the first hour of the game is. You get to watch it, get a bit of my commentary. But with FIFA, I've been playing FIFA for quite some time. And I really wanted to kind of experiment this year, as this is kind of my first go with a team that's a bit on the horror side which the, the one star, yeah. as they were rated uh, in this one, Morecambe is, I decided, hey, let's give them a try. So again, any advice that uh, you guys want to give me, uh, keep in mind that I have to keep that salary growth fairly small, as are with most of these teams in the lower leagues. Financial stability and financial success is really one of their highest priorities. But yeah, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll be checking out your videos. I'll be leaving a comment as well. I would really appreciate the love and uh, any help that you can give me. Please do pass it along. Once again, I am the One Hour Gamer and hopefully you enjoy this episode. Hopefully another one will be coming in the not too distant future as we take Morecambe FC, the shrimps, to glory. I hope. <laughs> Have a good one.